What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are back out in the garage finally. I say finally because it may or may not be a long time since I posted a video. This video is going to take a while. Show you in a second. But today's an exciting video because right here is a quote for paint for this old girl. Finally. I know, it's been a very long time. If you have a keen eye, you notice there's a few different things going on. I got this thing prepped and ready for paint, took it to none other than makeup, and got me a nice quilt. Now, this is gonna be, it's gonna be an experiment for all of us because I've used makeup before to paint a truck, and it came out great. Granted, it was a single stage, one color. All they did was spray it, nobody worked, no nothing. They did it out the door real quick, $700, I think it was. It turned out great, it turned out fine. I did take it to them. I got them to look at it. They actually pulled the painters out of the shop and had them come look at the car. Because we're going to have them do full body work, full two stage premier paint job, all the works. So, we're going to see. Of course, the first thing out of the painter's mouth is please tell me you don't want it black. So, at least they know what they're talking about. But, we're going to go over this, what they did. I'm going to show you everything I've done to prep this thing for the paint. And I go next Tuesday to drop this thing off. So, she told me it'd be a couple weeks. But uh, yeah, let's get and see what, what, what all I'm doing to prep it. And then we'll go over the, what they estimated for, and then I will obviously show you what it looks like when it's done. So let's dive into it. All right, so I did do a little bit of body work and some prep, well, body work, and some prep work for the paint. I'm gonna show you guys and keep a record of myself of what it looks like now, what I did to it, to see what kind of body work Mako does. Because I'm, we're gonna go over the pricing in a minute. It's kind of expensive. So we'll see what you get for the money. So first thing I had to do is, um, I did trim the fenders to clearance for steering, because these things just barely don't rub. And what I ended up doing was slicing a little bit of the fender off, and then I bent this inner lip in and welded it back together right here. So. This is my seam work, not the greatest in the world, not the worst. It's like that on both fenders. Uh, and then this is a different hood. This is the hood I originally planned on using because this hood, I don't know if you remember the black hood, it still had the decal on it, the original decal from the 70s. And if you've ever pulled the decal off and sitting that long, it's etched into the hood. It's gonna be there forever. They would have to fill it all and sand it all. This is just a plain hood. As far as I know, never had a decal on it probably. <clears throat> but I did do a little body work to this. There was some uh, rust right here in the side of this hood, which that hood had it too. So I had to patch it here and then another patch over on this side. There was one right there. That's still actually a little rough. They, I told them about that they're gonna body work that. This side, same deal with the fender down here and the lip. That one I actually cut this off originally because I was stupid and I actually welded a new piece back in. So there's that and then the biggest spot is going to be right here in this quarter panel. I welded this patch on. Listen, I'm not a body man. Not. I can weld body panels, not the greatest. And I did this three years ago probably with a flux core welder and stupid me put it right at the body seam That's where I welded it on. So not the greatest thing in the world. It's got a little, little wave to her, but I'm not concerned. And I told this to the guys, I said, listen, I said, I want this car one solid shiny color. That's it. I said, I want to fix all the dents and all the stuff you can fix. I said, but I just want one color. I'm gonna drive it. It's not gonna be a showpiece, but I still want it to look nice. So we'll see what that gets me. But that's the body work I did to it to get it ready for paint. So we're gonna see what they give me out. So, but, so this whole car is kind of surface rusted. As you can see this, you know, it's just a little surface rust. It's really not bad. It looks like it's pitted, but honestly, I don't, to me, it looks like this roof at one point was brown. But you can also see that it was black, so I don't know. This right here isn't bad. It's just plain old surface rust all over the roof here. There's nothing wrong with it. The worst spot is these quarter panels right here. You can see, if I can get you close and it'll zoom in. This actually has got little pits all over it. But it's just on the tops 
Oh, the quarter panels. This is surface rust. It was kind of unpainted. And I have been told now, if there's any bodymen watching this or any, you know, YouTube bodymen, they're going to lose their minds over this pits. You can't get that out. You got to do this, yada, yada, yada. You got to sandblast the chemical, do it, yada, yada. Or you can sand them down. Someone's going to yell at me and tell me I'm stupid. But, you know, hey, they're going to sand it down. I went over with the painters at Mako. He said they're going to have to DA this all the way down and smooth, get all the rust out of the pits. So this is going to do it. The hardest, the worst part about this car, to be honest with you, I think is this door. And it's got surface rust over here. Someone had bonded some little bits here and there. And there's some bondo underneath this paint right here, but there's no rust to. I, I don't know why they skim coated this. There's not like a dent or anything that I can see, but and it's got all this flake of paint coming off. So they said they're gonna they're gonna go they're gonna have a lot of body work, he said, which is why they told me the quote was so high. I went to Mako thinking it'd be cheap. I walked in, the lady asked me what my budget was, and then you know she doubled it. So we're gonna let me go grab the receipt and I'll go through what they quoted me and we'll uh we'll take it to paint next week and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, so this is the quote they gave me. Uh, as you can see, the final price is fifty-five thirty-nine. Sounds like a lot, but they said that's purely just because of all the body work it needs. Uh, I went and opted with the Premier package, which is a two-stage base coat, clear coat, a urethane sealer on there. Mainly, over half is just body work. Twenty-seven hundred dollars is just in strip dents. G and F, I, I'm assuming that means grind and finish, maybe? I don't know, needed areas. So most of this is body work. And then body materials, I got over $1,000 just in, I don't know what body materials are either. They don't explain that to me. But what I can tell you right now is most of this $5,500 and some change is purely body work. The paint itself is $1,700. So I got a lot of body work, which to me makes me feel comfortable leaving the car with him because yes, it's expensive, but I will still say $5,500 is cheaper than the other two quotes I have gotten. Cheaper by over a thousand dollars, I'll tell you that much. Um, so we're gonna see. I mean, they got body labor at 2,000, like I said, $2,700, over a thousand dollars in body material, you know, some other little this, that, and the others, but yeah. So $5,539.90 is gonna be my price. Now, I asked the lady, <clears throat> talked to her, and I said, you know, how, how long is this going to take? She said something like this with a lot of body work. It could take a couple weeks. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to drop it off Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday. So, I got one week from today. Yeah, one week from today. Drop it off. And it'll be a couple weeks, and we'll see what's going to happen now. I am, uh, I'm going to take it like this. You know, I'm not doing any prep work other than I am... I'm not using these taillights. I've got some other taillights in the trunk and I went ahead and took the surrounds off the lenses. I'm just gonna tell them just to paint those and then put them on <clears throat> because I've ordered some new actual, uh, what are you gonna call them, glass lenses. What, they're not glass, or plastic. Ordered some new ones just to get some nice shiny ones. So I've just took the surround, the good surrounds I have off and I'm gonna have them paint that. That's the only prep I've done to it. I am going to run it through a car wash before I head over there to drop it off to them, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, next shot you see of this sucker should be nice and black. And we'll go over this thing with a fine tooth comb, and I'll show you what they did and didn't do, and, and we'll, we'll, hopefully I'll be a happy man. I will be a happy man. It's going to be one color. I will be happy with it. So, well, that's going to be it for now. Next shot you see should be nice and painted. So, let's jump over to that time. Here she is in all of her beautiful glory, finally. Just got her back from paint. She is looking amazing. Now, a keen eye on those marker lights missing. They had to repaint the bezel. It's actually inside, I haven't put it on yet. And the scoop is missing because they also had to repaint that because they missed a spot. But keep in mind, it's Mako. It's a cheap place for a reason. 
and I am honestly thrilled with the way this car came out. This thing is looking so good. So, is the Mako Premier paint job worth it? In my opinion, yes, because I paid $5,500 and it still was three, four grand cheaper than the other quotes that I got because this thing did need a lot of body work. They did a very, very good job. There's, I don't, I mean, there's a hair of orange peel here and there, but this thing is looking good. The hood looks great. They did body work and everything on it. Um, if you can recall, the driver's door used to look like garbage. And it's looking good. That's it's it's kind of dirty. <laughs> I am beyond thrilled with this thing. Now, no, it is not straight as an arrow. If you focus, you might notice a little dimple here or there on the hood, or the door's got a little bit of a wave to it up top. But that's fine with me. I, I wasn't expecting a restoration paint job. This car looks amazing. You notice I got a little uh, you know primer over spray on some stuff, but nothing that I'm unhappy with. I can scrape that off with a razor blade off the window and everything. The trim, you know, got a little overspray on it, but you know, this trim's junk anyway. It's gonna get replaced. Tail lights obviously are not staying like this. I had a better set that I was gonna powder coat, but then I realized why don't I just paint a match? So I actually brought it back to them. They're painting those now. But y'all, this car looks 100% better. I did not do, the door jams and stuff, they were already black. So I just said, don't worry about that, because it was extra. <laughs> there is a few little spots that I'm not thrilled about, but there's things that you would never notice unless you've looked. One being the mirrors. Now Mako does not take your car apart to paint it unless you specifically ask for that and pay for it. So they did not. So there is one spot, I don't know if you can really see back here behind the mirror, it's very orange peely. It, it, it's painted, but you know, obviously they just kind of sprayed in and where they could. And the back side of the mirror doesn't look like very much clear coat hit it, but it is black, it is matching. You're not gonna notice it unless you stare at it and know it's there. This one's kind of the same thing. You see the little ripples back there and the mirror doesn't have as much clear on the inside. But like I said, this is their premier package or two stage base clear coat. And y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled about it. It took five weeks. Um, they said their paint booth went down for three days. So that's part of the reason it got backed up. But again, like I said, they did, in my mind, an amazing job. I am very thrilled with it. Very happy with it. They agreed to fix the shaker. What they did is the back part back here, when you're sitting in the driver's seat, you can see didn't get very much paint on it. So they agreed to take it back and to fix it, and they're doing that right now. So I'm, y'all, the emblem I left on it, there's no paint on it, there's no, you know, marks around or anything. I'm, I'm beyond thrilled with it. So we are finally back in business, and we are finally one color. It's been six years since I've had this car, and I am thrilled. We are, I am going to, I got all the decals for it in there. So next week, the bird's getting put on. The decals, the pinstriping, all that good stuff. And this thing will finally be done. I do have some interior stuff, visors, door panels, little things like that. But this car is finally 100% done. I am beyond thrilled. I have been waiting for this for a very long time. Obviously, we'll see how well it holds up over time. I am thrilled. Like I said, the bezel I have, the lights in the trunk and the bezel is on my dresser right now. But I just want to wrap this video up show you guys what I have been waiting for for years. Super excited about it, super pleased with it. Oh man, in my opinion, 100% worth it to send it to Mako. I think they did an amazing job. Y'all saw how this car looked beforehand. It was terrible and uh, came out pretty good, real straight. Real nice, man. They, like I said, they're very easy to deal with. I called a couple times to check in, you know, see how it was going and they were always polite, always answer my questions, everything. So in my mind, yes. Mako's worth it. Now, if you have a ton of money, you want a professional restoration paint job, clearly don't take it to Mako. But for me, I'm thrilled. I will obviously keep making videos on this thing. And as the days go on, you'll see how the paint holds up, I guess. So will I. But that is going to be a wrap for this video. The next video you see on this car will be the decals. And I am so excited to get that bird on the hood. 
and everything else in this car and finally wrap this thing up. Thank y'all for watching. As always, hit us with a like and subscribe. Plenty more videos coming, even on this thing and the other car. And we will see y'all in the next one. Because I have right here. Focus. Let's go over the well.